Hey guys, this is Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Holiday is here and I'm going to flock my Christmas tree today. I love flocked Christmas tree. I flocked last year and I'm going to flock this year as well. I will show you in a bit that the tree is still in a good condition. That still has some residue of flocked powder from last year but I can work with that. I'm going to put up the Christmas tree for the fifth year and I bought that from Walmart. That was 40 bucks. Today I'm going to be using flocking powder from two different brands. I'm going to show you. This is Snow Flock. This is from Amazon. And this is Snow Bond. This is from Amazon as well. So this is uh, this is plain white powder. Uh, I mean, just white flocking powder. And this powder has a little bit shimmer in it. So my Christmas tree is 6.5 feet tall. And I'm going to be using two of this and I have one pound of snow bond that I have left over from last year. So I think that five pounds will be good for my tree. So let's do that. Before I start this project, I wanna show you that how it looks like before. I mean, this is how it looks like after last year. So it's not that once you flock a tree, after the season it's a trash you can actually reuse that which is what I'm gonna do today I will flock the Christmas tree part by part so I will flock the bottom first then the middle section then the top section uh, I think you can see that I have covered my floor with a trash bag I would recommend you to cover up your hair wear a pair of gloves and um, wear a mask the process is same you want to spray water first then sprinkle the powder, seal the powder with water, sprinkle again, spray again, sprinkle, spray, sprinkle, spray. So you have to repeat the process until you achieve your desired look, desired frosty Christmassy look. This is not a bottle of soda. This is actually water. I just replaced the top with the spray gun. Make sure that you spray water on the leaves nicely because if the leaves are not wet properly, then they're not going to hold the powder nicely and tightly. Let me wear my mask. And if you want, you can use a strainer, but I feel comfortable with my hands. Sprinkle nicely because you don't want to miss any part. One round done and I'm going to spray water to seal this and to repeat the process again. If you buy a flocked tree from market, they're like hundreds of dollars. But if you DIY, then you can do the whole thing in hundred dollars. Because the tree is 40 bucks and the flocking powder is $50. So it's $90. My cats love Christmas tree. They are the happiest when I put this up because they think that this is a real tree and they can climb up. They can play with it. That's their toy. As soon as the powder gets wet, they turn into face snow. Round two. Every time you sprinkle flocking powder, you want to seal the deal with water, okay? Last year, I flocked my Christmas tree wearing a sweater and it was a mess. After I was done, my sleeves were covered with powder. It was really hard to clean that, so this year, that's why I'm wearing a short sleeve top, and which is very easy to clean. I want to do one more time, then I will move on to the next section. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, the leaves are 
colors. When the sun is up, the real snow, they actually look very white and very shiny, sparkly. That is how actually snow flock looks like. Now I'm prepping the midsection of the tree. My camera turned off when I was doing the midsection, so I did one coat and each year I decided to go beige, brown, um, rose gold with my Christmas tree because I bought myself a beige Chanel bag. That's why I bought myself a beige top, skirt, and I bought my husband a beige and brown shirt. So maybe few people think that I'm crazy that based on my bag's color, I'm deciding my Christmas tree's color and whole theme of Christmas but if you're a bad person you know right when you spray water on the powder some of the powder fall off until and unless you spray water all over the tree you cannot tell that how frosty or how uh, snowy your tree will look like So guys, I am done and it took me about one hour and a half to flock the whole tree. I repeated the flocking process three times for each section. I want to share some tips and tricks with you. So before you flock the tree, you want to fluff up the tree nicely so that the branch goes up like this, not like this. Because when the branch goes up like this, it looks prettier. That's what I think. Once you flock the tree, if you try to move the branch like these or these or this, then the flocking powder will fall off. Number two, if possible, you can do this whole process outdoor uh, so that you don't have mess up in your house. But if you live in an apartment, you don't have any choice like me, then you can do indoor as well. You just have to put the trash bag underneath the tree so that you don't have too much mess in your house. Tip number three, very important, cover your hair, wear mask, wear gloves. Tip number four, every time you sprinkle powder on your tree, you have to seal that with water. So you want to make sure that the powders are soaked with water really nicely because only after that you will have the fluffy, snowy or cottony, um, snowy look. And what happens if you don't seal the whole thing with water? Then you will have loose powder all over the tree and you will have shedding, you will have powder on your floor throughout the whole month, throughout the whole season and that's not fun. So this is a very easy simple project. If you want you can do at home. Probably my tree worth now $10, uh, flocking powder $50 I guess. Ornaments from Marshalls and flowers are from Amazon as well. And the lights that I'm going to use, that is from last year as well. These lights are so amazing. These are LED lights. The lights are very opaque and nice. And these lights are from Home Depot. Powder on my face. One last thing, that is you want to let the tree sit for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, you can decorate your Christmas tree. And you can enjoy the beauty of your Christmas tree.